Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. Uh, as usual we are gonna take a look at all the measures including gold and oil. Um, so please while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me if you are new to the channel to not forget to subscribe and while you are on it why not share the video so many more traders uh, have the chance to see it. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar when we see that we have a pretty interesting week ahead of us. A lot of Fed Chair Powell speak and testifies um, <laughs> almost every single day of the week next week. So there, there would be some unexpected headlines. Um, keep in mind Monday, Tuesday, uh, Japanese bank holiday. Also, we have the uh, Mr. Bailey to speak, uh, the governor of the BOE. We have uh, on Wednesday, uh, it's a very important day, we have uh, official cash rate, uh, RBNZ rate statement for New Zealand. We have um, Europe uh, service PMI and the most important one, manufacturing PMI. And also we have manufacturing PMI from the US on Wednesday. So Wednesday is going to be an important day. Thursday, um, SMB monetary policy assessment not expecting any fireworks and uh, Mr. Uh, Mnuchin to speak on uh, Thursday as well. So uh, pretty interesting uh, week as I said uh, if we look at the event that we have on the calendar. Starting with the charts and as usual always <clears throat> with the Dixie and we are on the weekly time frame we see that uh, there is no uh, need to be uh, Einstein to see uh, that the, the latest weeks, a month, uh, the dollar been uh, bearish and weak and uh, been uh, making lower lows and lower highs. But uh, the main thing here that on the weekly time frame, we, uh, we see that the dollar been testing at this uh, important level that I mentioned many times now. So I think uh, uh, those of you who watch these overviews know about this level and how important it is. And still it is not really broken. So expecting some uh, bullish defense here, we need to wait and see. Uh, we have a, we still have a bullish divergence on the RSI on the daily time frame. Thursday was actually a pretty interesting day. We had um, uh, on Wednesday and uh, we have on Wednesday the start of this move on the uh, after the uh, FOMC and then th uh, during the night um, uh, Wednesday to Thursday during Asian session we uh, those of us who live in Europe, we woke up and saw that the dollar been all the way up here. And uh, what I said in our trading room, I don't like uh, such move during Asian session because most of the time they correct back. And that exactly what happened. London opened and then we've got uh, the whole move went back to where it started somewhere here. We've got a flag and then another leg to the downside. So uh, been, uh, been a sideways week for the dollar uh, sideways for a while actually if we look at this whole uh, area here so uh, we still uh, have um, the same scenario to watch here that we we have a um, consolidation down here and as far as this area is not broken uh, the bulls may still uh, try to um, reverse this market and in my opinion when we look on the daily time frame this market need a bit of a correction after such a one two three uh, big waves here each time we had an impulse big consolidation impulse consolidation and now we have another imp consolidation but the main difference here that this consolidation happening at an important level of support and that's why i'm lo still looking for potential correction to the upside now to change my mind i want to see a break and close below this area and then it's game over uh, once again for the bulls and uh, the bears may take over control and continue to the downside so uh, we look at oil and uh, we've been talking about this uh, impulse that we had um, uh, previously that it was a very strong impulse we were looking for a retracement and potential continuation so we were talking about the 618 area in our uh, trading room or the level between the 50 and 618 this skill zone here as a potential area to watch for a possible um, selling uh, level we did not have any signals yet all we had was on friday this little candle here this star candle here we will see next week if there is a potential uh, 
bearish move after this or it is just taking a break and it will continue higher this is very important to watch now because as i said it was a very strong impulse to the downside showing that uh, bears were really uh, in control but then the bulls did push uh, as strongly back and uh, yeah the question is are we now at this level where we uh, gonna see the next um, impulse to the downside or or not so that is uh, what we're watching for uh, this market at this level retesting the 200 moving average on the four hour um, that been acting as nice uh, uh, dynamic support here then it broke uh, that 200 did retest and continuation now we are testing that level we have monthly s1 as well we have previous structure and we have the 618 Fibonacci retracement at this area so pretty interesting level to watch gold not much going on we're still inside this same range here the question is will it explode up or will it explode down uh, so that um, that is what we still watching on this market we had a quick um, possible uh, trade here in our trading room um, i mentioned that tr this trade idea in our trading room last week and the main idea here that we had a uh, double top at this level we had a broken uh, neckline which means that the, the double top uh, is confirmed broken and if you usually if you miss uh, such a move here on a break of a double top you have another chance sometime which called this 2618 trade for those of you who don't know what is a 2618 trade uh, do a search in my uh, youtube channel and uh, you will find a video about that so all in all actually after the break of the neckline of the double top you you place a uh, sell order in this case uh, just below the uh, 618 fibonacci retracement of this leg and uh, with a stop uh, above uh, previous high and um, yeah my sell trigger my, my sell order got triggered late uh, friday and I'm in the trade now. What I'm looking for is to see if we're gonna break uh, this uh, trend line and the 200 moving average on the one hour and hopefully reach target. Or if this market will just keep pushing to the upside on this 200 moving average and stop me out. So uh, yeah, uh, pretty straightforward. This is target one. And of course, if, if everything will go as planned and we see another break of this level, then we could have target two uh, a bit lower down here at the bottom of the channel where is the the, the better support actually on uh, this market so if we go to the four hour time frame you see how important this level is uh, euro usd so also sideways still uh, consolidating inside uh, this uh, little range we have here uh, the top of the range we have the monthly pivot point uh, on this uh, uh, in this area and uh, yeah as i mentioned last week we do have a, we had a bearish divergence we have a confirmed lower high and uh, yeah for more downside we need to see a break below this structure so what happened last last thursday was this as i said uh, what happened on the dixie uh, the opposite happened on the euro we woke up and saw that during Asian session this market had pushed all the way down here uh, it did a little bit of a break but there was no uh, strong uh, close below uh, for the confirmation and then it bounced back up all the way back toward monthly pivot point and then stopped at this level with a potential double top now so next week short term if we break the neckline we may see another retest of the monthly s1 area so uh, nothing new here uh, my plan is still the same waiting for the uh, break of this level to then uh, look for a retest toward 1.15 that is one what i'm expecting uh, because it seems like we have a, a bit of a slowdown of the trend uh, it is a bullish trend absolutely but it is slowing down it failed to make a new high and now we need to see the the bears winning uh, the fight here if they do then we have a continuation lower if not that would be uh, probably uh, game over and continuation or another retest of this top so because this support down here is very very important uh, for now sterling uh, usd so uh, last week i told you guys look for a potential retest and uh, that i was interested to uh, sell at uh, 1.300 we've got the retest of that level uh, actually uh, the market could uh, give uh, a little bit more to the upside because if we look uh, for a fibonacci retracement at least the 38.2 uh, is up here 50 percent is up here and 618 is a bit higher so um, we didn't even reach 
38.2 yet uh, but since uh, 1.300 uh, is a pretty interesting level looking left from this area and even if we're gonna look on the daily time frame um, we had uh, all these testers here are this trouble uh, area happening at that level so that why i'm interested and on the daily time frame we had a, a hanging man formation here uh, also uh, on this candle usually a reversal signal and um, yeah uh, this does not mean uh, rejection uh, we had another hanging man here and then the market broke and closed below it so uh, don't see these as rejection especially if they're not happening at an interesting level um, so looking for the same uh, as far as uh, 1.300 is holding as resistance i'm uh, selling this level each and every time and looking for a potential break below yearly pivot point for that continuation move to the bottom so that's my plan on this one while if the bulls would manage to break and hold above this level then we may see continuation to the to the upside but look at the slope of this um, um, channel here uh, after this impulse the slope of this channel is not so strong and that's why i'm seeing this as potential correction could it uh, keep channeling a little bit higher yeah it could but as far as we are going in the same slope i will keep looking for a potential um, a continuation to the downside after the break out of the channel usd jappy this market been um, still been uh, bearish so uh, since we started from this stop here it been uh, a bearish structure and uh, pushing to the downside but right now we are testing a pretty interesting level um, usually do not like to to stay lo for long below uh, 105 so keep an eye on this one we are looking on the weekly time frame and uh, on that time frame there is no close below previous structure low and as you see it is pretty interesting level the market is testing right now so a uh, lot of uh, tests here on the weekly it's a major support level and we should keep an eye on this area for a potential bounce while if we see a break and close below uh, the lows here on the weekly or daily time frame then potentially we're gonna see a, a quick move down here because there is nothing on the way to hold this market so expect the bulls to defend this level but if they fail it may go pretty quick to the downside toward these levels at around the 100 and uh, yeah i know that uh, and you know for sure that the boj do not like uh, these levels at all and they may help out uh, pushing uh, this market back up uh, we we need to wait and see so daily time frame no signal for reversals yet for our time frame no signal for reversal yet it is still a bearish market and actually if we're gonna talk textbook you should be looking for a retest and continuation but as i said since it uh, it is an important support level we need to uh, look for a potential bounce to the upside instead usd chief nothing new here still inside this range since july uh, and nothing has changed and i will repeat what i said uh, last week you wait for a break above this previous high then for retest and continuation or break below the lows for continuation to the downside there is literally nothing else to do here avoid to trade in between because it may get choppy here as you see so uh, keep it simple uh, USD CAD almost the same scenario if you look at this structure and this structure you see you are looking for the same thing here you uh, here you need to see a break out of this range for a potential uh, continuation I would like to see the break to the upside because there is more room because if we break to the downside there is a short term trade but it will get stopped here probably and um, the move um, gonna be a short one because uh, it is a, a nice support level down here uh, looking left we know that this area been tested many times as a major support level so uh, that's why I, I prefer the move to the upside maybe a reversal toward the 200 moving average or something like that and if we look how the market left this level here previously when we tested this area we see that there was a very strong push to the upside from this level yeah so uh, wait for that breakout to then look for a continuation 
Aussie USD keep fighting here, um, struggling a little bit uh, after uh, this uh, leg to the downside we still see a potential bullish move but look at the body of these candles there is no momentum the slope of it is uh, a weak slope and uh, that's what make me look for a potential correction back down toward these levels or maybe to, toward these lows so I'm interested of the shorting here because this market did reach a pretty interesting level on the weekly time frame and um, the daily time frame we saw the slowdown and uh, we're still waiting for this support to get broken and if that would be the case we look for a continuation toward this area or this level down here and uh, new zealand usd this one was very very strong last week pushed strongly to the upside failed to break and close above previous highs on the daily time frame uh, and the weekly time frame so uh, if we look on the weekly we see that we are trading at around the 200 moving average on the weekly which been acting as both dynamic support and resistance previously um, it is a pretty important uh, moving average on the weekly when you look at the 200 um, the the shape of this uh, chart right now is uh, very bullish actually we have a V shape we have uh, on the weekly higher highs and higher lows but Keep an, keep an eye on this level here because looking left we do have some uh, trouble uh, on, on this uh, at this level and um, yeah we do have um, news for um, for New Zealand on Wednesday could be the catalyst for even a, a, a um, some kind of a break to the upside and continuation a little bit higher or a fake out and then another bounce lower looking on the daily time frame uh, the same as or uh, as aussie uh, there is a, a, a bullish move but not a big um, uh, momentum on this and last friday <coughs> could it be uh, profit taking here because it been a bullish week could could be a profit taking candle but it would be interesting to see if we're gonna have any daily close below the low of this candle if that would be the case i'm interested to short this market try to short this market once again i tried previously and uh, it failed and um, yeah it's time once again to 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 try it because looking on the four hour time frame as well we see that we are at a pretty interesting top here and uh, yeah potentially a move down back here toward the yearly pivot point is not so hard to get uh, if uh, the break below the trend line happens uh, yeah so uh, that was it for uh, the youtube version of this video as you know guys if you are interested to get these um, um, briefings each and every morning uh, in our trading room for all these markets and uh, all the uh, s p 500 um, the dow the FTSE, and the dax don't forget to check our uh, trial period of 14 days for one dollar only uh, cancel it whenever you want thanks a lot guys see you next week bye bye